Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope that you're having an awesome day. Today, we are doing a full face of Wet n Wild products, and I'm super excited because there's a lot of stuff in here that I have never tried before, and we have new things that just came out from Wet n Wild, so I am going to go ahead, jump in, show you what all that I got, and... We're going to start applying stuff to my face. I went ahead and took off all of the packaging off of all of the stuff. That way I'm not sitting here trying to fill with packaging. Because honestly, y'all, it took me, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes to get the packaging off all this stuff. Because, you know, it's that really, like, crap packaging that's, like, like plastic that's, like, on here and you can never get it off. And I didn't feel like messing with it. I got almost everything for a full face, and I think that I have a few things that I have in my drawers that I can use for the rest, but I have almost everything for a full face. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. I'm very excited. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the new Photo Focus Stick Foundation, and I got two shades here. I got Alabaster and Porcelain because I am absolutely horrible at choosing my shade. So, that's why I got two. And it's, it's always just so hard to figure out shades online. This one right here is Alabaster, and this is Porcelain. So you can see, and I believe that these are the two lightest shades in the foundation, if I'm not mistaken. But they look pretty good. I think for my skin tone, I mean, Alabaster is way too light. But honestly, though, I think if I mix them together... I think it would be a really good shade match for me, so that's probably what I'm going to do today. I should have brought makeup wipes in here. Be right back. And the next thing that we have is concealer. They um, just recently expanded their concealer range. I have not tried the concealer before because I always thought that, you know, the shades was just too dark for what I was wanting um, in a concealer, but I did get the two new lightest shades, and that is Fair Beige on this side and Fair Neutral on this side. Um, so I would say that Fair Beige has a slightly pinkier tone and Fair Neutral is a little bit more of a yellower tone. I have never tried a bronzer from Wet n Wild and I don't know if I'm going to like this. This is the Palm Beach Ready Bronzer. It is a very shimmery bronzer. And I typically like my bronzers to be matte, so it'll be interesting to see how I like this. Not too sure. Um, but one thing that I was super excited is about this next product. This baby right here it is a loose highlighter, and it is in the shade I'm So Lit. So, open it up. One thing that I don't like is this top inside piece right here. Like I said, I did take off all the packaging last night so anyways this top sifter packaging if i'm pretty sure it's cardboard like i don't i just don't know how i feel about that so i'm so excited to try this i've never actually tried a loose like highlighter like this before so i'm super stoked for some reason i don't know why okay let me preface this by saying i ordered this stuff uh december 26th and, you know, that's the day after Christmas. And for some reason, I was like, I really want a metallic lip color. I don't know why. I've never liked the look of a metallic lipstick. Never have. Just, I just don't like it. That's just not my thing. I don't like it. But for some reason, I really wanted it. So I got two of them. I have Life's No Picnic. Life's No Pink Nick right here, which that shade, oh god, it just looks so pretty. And then I also have I Don't Desert You. So this is I Don't Desert You, and this is Life's No Pink Nick. Pink Nick? I don't like that name. Um, but whenever I was swatching this, this one, I Don't Desert You, just seems really patchy whenever I was applying it to my skin. Obviously, whenever you put it on your lips, it's going to be a little bit different, but... First little swatches. I don't know about that. And then I also got this, which I thought 
that I had ordered like a traditional lipstick because also I don't know why but I have been wanting a lipstick that's in a traditional lipstick form like in a bullet that is like the perfect nude slightly pink that's not all the way matte but like a semi matte kind of formula I don't know why but I really really want that and I just can't find the perfect lipstick I cannot find the perfect shade for what I want but I did find this and this is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick and this is in the shade Caught You Bare Naked. This color looks so gorgeous. I mean I think essentially it's kind of like a thick like really pigmented gloss. But here's the shade right here and I just think that it's so pretty like I want this in a traditional lipstick. I don't know why, but I really, really do. So, help me out with my lipstick journey, please. So, the last couple things that I have here, I got this from the Liquid Catsuit line, and I'm so excited about this because I really, like, over this year have found, like, a love for liquid eyeshadows. This, this is in the shade You Copper Cat. And I just got one for now because I wanted to test it out and see how I like the formula before I bought more of them. Because, let's get real, the Stila ones are absolutely amazing, but they are like, what, $22 or $24 each. And I think this, I don't know exactly, but I think it was about $6.99 or something. So, I mean, I'm not going to stop buying the Stila at all. I'm going to keep buying those and building my collection. But if I can also get some of these that is a lower price why not and then the last thing i got because i don't know why i don't have one of these it is just a regular black eyeliner that's in like a retractable little pencil thing but that's it right there just nice and black and pigmented i will say the formula putting it on my hand it does feel really stiff so hopefully it goes onto my eye easily I'm going to make do with what I have, that way I try to keep it all wet and wild, except I don't have a mascara from wet and wild, so I will use something of my own. Now, I'm going to push my hair back because my hair looks sexy pushed back, and we're going to go ahead and jump in with this. My face is cleansed, toned, moisturized, all of that good stuff. Okay. So... Um, this is their regular Photo Focus, um, primer spray. Oh, it's a primer water spray. Okay, so a little primer water spray action. Um, this was from their Hummingbird collection thing, but it is just like their regular stuff, just in, like, limited edition packaging. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Quit being defiant. Where you at? You. Let's go ahead and do the eyes first so I can get that out of the way. Um, do I have lashes up here? I don't have wet and wild lashes because I think that they're hideous. Sorry if you like them. I don't like them. They're just not my jam. So first things first, I'm going to go in and prime my eyelids and I'm just going to use the concealer and this one is in the shade Fair Neutral. Concealer is a great primer for your eyes. Um, but I'm interested to see how this one works out because I've never used it before. I'm going to go in with my Real Technique sponge and this is damp. And just kind of tap that in. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, I didn't get like an actual eyeshadow palette. I am going to go in with a fluffy crease brush, crease brush, and the only um, eyeshadow palettes that I have from them are these little quads. These are from that, uh, what was it called, like Flight of the Fancy collection. Um, and like I said, these were limited edition, so I don't believe that they are still available. But I don't know why I didn't pick up one of their regular eyeshadow palettes. Anyways, the main star of the show is going to be this liquid eyeshadow. So really all I'm going to do is just throw a shadow into the crease right now and I'm just going to take this transition shade right here. This brush is super fluffy right now 
because last night I spent an hour washing all of my brushes. But y'all, okay, I gotta brag on myself because look how clean. If you see any pigment, like that one is super stained, but all of those are cleaned. These are cleaned and these are all cleaned and I did actually get rid of, uh, I don't know, there's probably like 10 or 12 brushes that I ended up chunking because they were just not, not in good shape at all. Anyway, so now all of my brushes are like super duper like fluffy and they're just ready to go. Like new year, new clean brushes, right? And I didn't set my concealer. Um, typically I do set my concealer, but I really want to try out, I don't know, this new thing. I guess it's not new, but this thing that people are doing where they're not setting their concealer. Uh, Raw Beauty Christy, she did a video um, maybe like a week ago or so where she um, did her makeup, how she used to do it on one half of her face and how she does it now on the other half of her face. And she used to set her concealer with a powder, um, but now she doesn't. And I mean, you could pretty, like, you could see a pretty visible difference between, like, the blendability of, you know, the shadows and everything like that. So I thought that was super interesting. So I'm going to try it out, too, because I want to be just like her. <laughs> Actually, I want her makeup skills because she's so talented and her, her makeup is just beautiful all the time. Anyways, I'm going to take this other transition shade from a different one. Mm, I'm not going to use that same brush. And now the star of the show for the eyes, the Liquid Cat Suit Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade You Copper Cat. I'm going to let these dry before I look up because I don't want them to have the chance to crease or anything like that. Let's just try it. such a copper dream it's copper but without it being too orangey before I put mascara on this eye I do want to grab a little bit of this liner so I'm going to pop on some lashes these are the um, kiss lash couture in the style corset these are one of my absolute favorite 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 pairs of lashes ever in existence um, I'm just going to pop these off on camera, pop these on off camera. Um, like I said, I don't have any wet and wild lashes just because I don't like them. So I will be right back. All right. So I'm done with my eyes for now. I'm going to move on to my face. Um, I did go in with a makeup wipe and clean up underneath my eyes and I did tight line the top of my eyes and then I will do the bottom lash line in a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go back in with the primer water and then respray my face. I don't know. I've never really been a fan of that. I don't think that it really does anything for me. Let's see here. And I don't know the coverage on this. I don't know the finish, but we're going to see. So there's that. Actually, that shade might be pretty good. This is in the shade Porcelain that's on my cheek right here. And yeah, that's alabaster, so that is a lot lighter. I can probably focus alabaster more towards my inner, you know, the center part of my face, and then porcelain to the outer perimeter. I want to put on a pore filling primer, my favorite pore filling primer, um, because I want to. Um, this isn't like a foundation wear test or anything like that. If you do want to see me wear this for like a full day and do check-ins and all that, I totally will. So I'm going to do it how I normally do, like three swipes on my cheek, one on my forehead, and one right here. <sighs> I just don't know about this, y'all. In person, I mean, it might be like a shade lighter. 
on camera it looks two, sh two to three shades lighter. It's not sticking to my, my nose right here. Um, and I did forget to mention that you get um, 0.42 ounces of product in here. Um, okay, so we are going to get into the concealer. Now I did get these two, Fair Beige and Fair Neutral. I think Fair Beige is going to be too pinky for my skin. But it could be good for like right here where my dark under eyes are. Maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the other one because why not? So then Fair Neutral, I'm going to drag this one down further. It doesn't have a lot of glide to it. It is a pretty like thick formula, like she thick. I mean, on my nose, it looks atrocious. And on the center of my forehead, it's like clinging really weird. And I don't necessarily have a dry forehead or anything. I'm going to quickly just grab a brush right here. I'm going to take this face powder and it is from the Wet n Wild Photo Focus line. And this is the pressed powder in Warm Light. So for the foundation, initial first thoughts, I would say it gives like a medium coverage to the skin. I think I'm really going to have to like finagle with it to see, you know, how I like it. It is looking really heavy, like around my mouth and around my chin. Um, I am going to <laughs> warm up my face with some bronzer again. Oh my god, can I open this? This is the... Palm Beach Ready Bronzer. It's definitely coming off as like a glowy bronzer, so I'm gonna try to focus this a little bit more on my cheek area. If you have a deeper skin tone, I mean, this would look beautiful as like a blush, but <laughs> to me, all it's doing is emphasizing all of like the texture that I have on my cheeks, and it does not look cute. For my blush today, I'm going to go in and combine the two. I'm going to go in with um, Pearlescent Pink and Rosé Champagne. What I'm really hoping is going to be really amazing, please, uh, is the Loose Highlighter and it is in the shade I'm So Lit. I just dipped my brush in and I'm really going to tap off the excess so I don't get the highlighter all over my face. Highlighter, big, huge thumbs up. Um, I love it. I think that it looks so pretty. I'm gonna go in with my brows and I never use this. Uh, I don't know why I have it. It's in the shade Taupe. I probably bought it to do someone else's makeup. So I don't think, I mean, I know this isn't gonna be dark enough for me. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my L'Oreal. Just to fix it up a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes. Um, let's see here. I'm going to apply the, what is this, Mega Last eyeliner into my waterline. It is applying like okay to my waterline. Uh, definitely not as pigmented as I would like it to be. And it's definitely not as hard and scratchy as it was on my upper lash line. Uh, I think, like, once you kind of get through that first layer, it's a lot better. You know what? I think I'm going to take a little bit of the liquid shadow. Um, I'm going to dip back into the highlighter really quick with my teeny tiny brush right here. And this is what I use to highlight my inner corners of my brow bone with. And I'm just going to coat that and put it right around my inner corner right here. And a little bit on my brow. Just at the highest point right there. Ooh, ooh, girl. So now for the lips. I am going to go in with Life's No Pink Nick. <laughs> I still don't really like that name. but I can definitely see some of my lip color coming through. 
I'm not crazy about this applicator. Um, the shape of it is fine to me. I just don't like how fuzzy it is because you really, like, it's hard to get a precise line with it with how, like, like, fuzzy it is, you know what I mean? That aside, I mean, I love this shade. It's definitely metallic. It does have, like I, like I said, a super lightweight formula, so you barely even feel it. Like, I, I don't feel it on my lips at all. This shade is so pretty. Just, like, a gorgeous, like, dark, like, raisiny kind of a shade. I don't know. I mean, I actually, I like this combo with, like, these eyes and this lip. Like, I really like it. I just don't know about this formula. So, after applying three layers of this one, I would say it is, like, at its full opacity now. It still feels really lightweight, and, like, I'm not really wearing a lipstick. And, I mean, the metallicness is there. So now, the High Shine Lipstick in the shade Caught You Bare Naked. I think I definitely need... Oh, that makes my teeth look so yellow. I definitely need a lip liner. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm gonna stop messing with this. Um, I don't know, maybe I can just try out different lip combinations. Maybe use this on top of a different lipstick. <gasps> I have an idea. Uh, from L'Oreal, it's 800 Ferris Nude. This video has been too long. I didn't want to spend forever on it, but that happened and that's okay. Um, my last step, I'm just going to spray my face again with the Revlon Photo Focus. Alright y'all, so this is the final look. Um, so let's just kind of recap what we went over. The foundation, I'm not sure yet. I mean, like, right now, it looks okay. Um, like I said, if y'all do want to see, like, a full day wear test or anything like that, you know, leave it down in the comments below if you do want to see that. Um, I will kind of update in the description about how everything wore throughout the day. Um, but, uh, let's see here, the concealers, um, I'm actually, I'm not mad about it. I'm definitely going to give them another try, but the concealer, it looks really nice. It's, like, about a medium coverage, um, but I do really like those, oh, but I do like them. I don't really like them, I like them, and I'm going to keep trying them. Um, let's see here. So, the liquid eyeshadow, um... I do like it. It is very pretty on the eyes. It does take a couple layers to get it to like that full punch that you want. Um, but it does look really nice. It's not creasing on me. You do just have to be careful about blending because you can blend it away and, you know, kind of knock it off your face. But, I mean, right now it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. The bronzer... I don't care for it whatsoever. Um, I could totally live without it, and I'm sure that I will. This, though, this highlighter, uh, I'm going to use it a lot. So, yeah, this, I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of it. And with loose highlighters, I mean, it would take me a lifetime to go through this. I mean, it's the this is the bee's knees like this is the absolute star of the show and whenever i got everything um i got it with like a 40 they were doing like a 40 percent off sale so i used a 40 percent off coupon and got all of this and i spent i think 34 dollars total i would pay 34 dollars just for this no joke at all it's such a beautiful wet gleaming highlight i just i'm enamored with this it is so beautiful if anything, get this because, I mean, you're not going to be disappointed at all. Uh, the metallic liquid lips, they are okay. Um, you have to build them up to get them to the full opacity because they are patchy. Maybe put down a lip liner all over your lips that's, you know, close to the same color or the same, like, tone 
and then put this on top of it and see if that helps. I think that it would and um, that's definitely something that I would recommend trying and something that I'll try for myself. Mm, I think I like it as kind of like a lip topper type of a thing. Um, use it as like a kind of a pinky gloss and I think that's how I like it best. It feels really good. It's not like sticky on my lips. You don't get like that like stringiness between your lips, you know. Um, it feels really good and my lips feel nice and hydrated. So I do like that. Let's go. Let's go.